Um, after a tornado plowed through their town just before 7 o'clock tonight, leaving behind it fire and wreckage and families looking for shelter. The tornado skipped through Verdon, west to east, dropping down first to fell a magnificent old tree and cleave the home of Don Garbett. You see that if you want to go around the back and look. It just the whole tree come down and it wiped out the back part of the house. And uh, I don't know, it's insured. It touched down again near the railroad tracks, tossing a huge grain bin like an old tin can dangerously close to this home. But in missing the home and hitting the power lines, the bin may have actually done more damage. Right, we had a tornado, I guess, went through here and blew this bin and got sharded out with the entrance wire to this house. What, anybody in there? No, not at the time. Several other buildings were flattened along the way, and several other grain bins ended up in unexpected places. Nursing home worker Ruth Young saw the storm before it did its damage. And I seen this cloud coming like this and then went down like that. Mm -hmm. And I says, oh my God. And I ran out of the room and told the rest of the staff. Moments later, the twister began its helter-skelter route through Verdon. The tornado here in Verdon appeared to touch down in several spots. And one of the most unbelievable things is, with all this property damage, it appears that no one was injured. Nevertheless, at least two families are homeless, and the destruction and disruption will etch May 9th in Verdon's collective memory for a long time. The storm caused scatter damage throughout the area. In Springfield, a new Walgreens store was blown to the ground by high winds. Trees and limbs are down all over the area, and that has caused scattered outages, although most power has now been restored. Gus will have more on tonight's storms during his weathercast.